Hi Mac fans, we need to talk about handle bad layers. We've talked about this before, but Kobe got in touch with a very good question, and that is, how do you deal with handle bad layers when you've got hundreds of layers, you've got dozens of folders? What do you do about that? Because it is a laborious task to go through and update all of the bad layers. So let's have a look at my project structure. This is a little bit uh, contrived, just for demo purposes. But we have a QGS project file, and you can see that in the background here. So we've got a bunch of layers, and all the layers are stored in a folder called Good Layers. So you can see them here. Now what I'd like to do is to move these, and just imagine that you're doing a spring clean on your computer or whatever, and I want to move them into a folder called Bad Layers. So I'll paste them into there. In they go. Now if I start a new project here, and then open up that old project. Because all my layers have moved, QGIS no longer knows where they are, and we're going to get the handle bad layers error. So let's open this up. <gasps> handle bad layers. No, what do we do? Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. So looking at this window, I would actually have to go through and manually browse to where my bad layers are. So I can browse to these and update Q's reference to them. However, this would be a very laborious task for all of these files, so we're not going to do that. There is a quicker way. What I'm going to do instead is take the QGS file, so let's go back to that, and I'm going to open it in a text editor. Open with, I'm going to use Sublime Text, which is a great free text editor, and here we go. So we can see with our layers, so for SP administrative boundary, we have a pathway here that is to good layers. Now, if you remember, we just cut and pasted those shapefiles out of good layers and put them into the bad layers folder. So in this simple example, we can do something quite quickly. I can just select all of them and then I can use control H to find and replace. And I'm going to look for every instance of good layers in this document, and I'm going to replace it with the new pathway of bad layers. Replace all. And there we go. That's done. Save that. I'm not going to purchase Sublime Text. I will do one day, but not yet. Sorry, Sublime. Project, I'm going to open up my project again. And if you remember last time, we had the handle bad layers message. But because I've changed my pathways on mass, this time it just pings open. So that's how you can change multiple bad layers at once, so long as you know where they are. And of course, if you've got multiple different folders and you've moved things all over the place, then you're gonna to have to do be a little more careful in finding and replacing, or you might in fact need to do something programmatically in order to change things. But thanks for watching, Kobe. Thanks a million for getting in touch via the comments. Um, I hope this helps you out and Happy mapping.